Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and I'll say the rhyme. What's gonna happen today on Showtime? Showtime, welcome! Now, if you sit at home thinking, I always get bored, I can never think of anything to do with my friends, well, this is the show where we teach you how to have lots and lots of fun, but we need to turn the big spinner! Let's go and see where it lands today. Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and all say the rhyme. What's going to happen today on Showtime? Create time! Create time! Hi, Daddy. Hi there, Shuna. What are all of these? These are all wonderful African percussion instruments. Um, you can pick up anything and play them. Yeah, can I have a go? Yes, you go. It sounds like there's rice stuck yeah, inside. There's some sort of sea light thing in there. I like the sound. Ah! <gasps> what about these? Are these jingle bells like these yeah. at Christmas yeah, time? Yeah, jingle bells. Are, I know Christmas is gone, but it'll come back. But that's, that's the kind of idea. this oh yeah that these are that looks amazing look at all the patterns Jerry I've got to go. We're going now. Yeah, I've got a really good idea, but I'll come back, okay? Okay, okay. Why don't, for today's create time, we make our own musical instruments and then we can come back and join in with Jerry and play them? Let's go and find out how we do it. Create time! That was lots of fun. I'm going to show you how you can make your own musical instruments using things that you find around your house. This is my colourful shaker. So how you make one of these, you need a kitchen roll or a toilet roll if you want to make a smaller shaker, some cardboard, an old breakfast cereal box, some masking tape or some sellotape, and then to fill your shaker to make all those wonderful sounds, you need either some pasta or some rice or some beans. I think I'm gonna put beans in mine, I like that sound. First of all, take your kitchen roll and your cardboard and place your kitchen roll onto the cardboard and draw two circles around like this. There's one circle and circle number two all the way round. You might need someone to hold the kitchen roll as you draw the circle all the way round. So there's my two circles. I'm now going to cut the circles out. You, again, might need someone to help you cut the circles out. Here are my two cardboard circles. Now, take your kitchen roll and place your cardboard circle on the top. Get your sellotape or masking tape and tape it over the top. And make sure that it's nice and secure so the rice or the beans or the pasta don't fall out. I'm gonna put one over the top as well. Now we take our beans and pour the beans into the kitchen roll. Again, you might want someone to help you so the beans or the rice don't go all over the floor. So fill it in. That's it. You don't want to fill it too full. I've got them filled up to about here. Then get your second cardboard circle, place it on the top. Get your masking tape and tape the masking tape onto the kitchen roll. 
Now you need to make sure you have lots of masking tape, otherwise the beans are going to fall out as we're playing our musical instruments with Jerry. I hope Jerry likes my shaker when I go and show him. So again, nice and secure all the way around. So let me try shaking it and see if any of the beans fall out. Sounds good. Now we just need to decorate it. To make your shaker look nice and bright and colourful, we're going to use either some coloured paper or some felt. I have chosen to use felt because it's really nice and soft, so when you're holding the shaker, it feels really nice in your hands. I'm going to use some green felt. Place your felt down in front of you. I've got some newspaper down as well so we don't get the table messy. Take some PVA glue and squirt the PVA glue at one end of the felt and then at the other end of the felt. Squiggly lines is best. Then take your shaker and place it nice and firmly on the glue, matching up the ends and hold it down and then you're then going to roll it nice and tightly. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it until it meets the other end and then hold it down to make it nice and secure. Now, once that's dry, we're going to paint it. So, I'm going to paint the top and the bottom with yellow and blue paint. Choose any colour that you like. I'm going to take the yellow and just paint half, half of it yellow. And then take my blue paint and paint the other half blue. There we go. And if you do that at both ends as well, another idea for decorating your shaker is taking some pom-poms, some different coloured pom-poms and putting some glue on the pom-pom and then pressing it down on your shaker. Hold it down, count to ten and then take it off and it should stick. So you can do that with lots of different coloured pom-poms and make it really bright. And there you have your colourful shaker. So leave that to dry and then it's ready to play. If you want to make other shakers, you could fill an egg box with rice or pasta. You could fill some cups with rice or pasta or beans and tape them together in the middle, like I have done here. And I've just drawn some nice patterns and a nice smiley face on the end. So anything you can find, fill it and get ready to shake. It's now time to make our drum. We're now going to make our very own drum. To make your drum, you need a cylinder. This is just a crisps container. And you need two balloons and two elastic bands. I've gone for really nice, bright coloured balloons. So I want you to take your cylinder, your crisps container, and cut the bottom off. Get someone to help you so you can see all the way through. You're then going to take your balloon and cut the bottom of the balloon off like this. So cut the bottom off and you can throw that bit away and then take your crisps container, open up the balloon and you might need someone to help you and hold it over the top. Take your elastic band and put the elastic band over and have a look at that. Let's have a listen. Sounding good, you can also, but you need to do the same at the other side as well. So take your balloon, cut off the bottom, and then put it over the top of your drum. Take the elastic band. You now have that at both sides. Now it looks a bit boring, so we need to decorate it. Take some coloured paper and paint it. I've got nice stripes, zigzags and spots. So take your paint and you're just going to do nice zigzags across the page. 
you can take a lot more time. I'm just doing it nice and quickly to show you. And then I'm going to take some red paint and do some red circles as well. Okay, so you can continue doing that and you can make any patterns that you like. And you're then going to take your cylinder and wrap it all the way around like so and get some tape and stick it down as well. So it will end up looking like this, I think. We're nearly ready to go and play our musical instruments with Jerry, but there's one more thing I would like to show you. instrument is the most simple out of all of them. These are my water jam jars. Take three jam jars and fill them up with water and have a listen. Now the jam jar with a little bit of water in makes a very high sound. The jam jar with lots of water in makes a lower sound. Low, high, low, high. So I think we are ready with my shaker and with my drum, with the jam jars. We're ready to go and jam with Jerry. Creative! Jerry, look what we made. Wow, what are those? This is a colourful shaker uh, and we made a drum as well. Wow, can I hear that? Yeah. to the drum as well. Wow, and what are those ones? Well, what we did was we filled some jam jars with water. Listen. We also wow. made a shaker out of cups. You know what that means, it's the end of the show. Time is up, we have to go. I hope you had fun and enjoyed the show. See you next time to say the rhyme and spin again for more show time. Bye. Bye, Jerry. Bye-bye.